Young Samuel is at work. He is hoping not to be in the drive through the whole night. Whereas I personally think that um, that's a good place to be. You get to communicado with people. He just gets tired of people not knowing what they want when they go through the drive through You know, to be fair, I would not have the foggiest what I'd want to eat there because I don't eat it. So it makes it hard. Thick shake. And I don't do thick shakes. So Wednesday, Wednesday is where I was up to. So Wednesday, what did I do Wednesday? Ah, oh, so Wednesday I dropped off the pants and I continued to make and finish the um, tie backs for the curtains. And then Thursday morning um, I had a client at 9 o'clock whom I have not seen for a very long time. Um... So it was good, just it was a very quick, brief catch up. I have to hem some of um, his trousers now. I thought I thought he would have trousers that would have been used on the blind hemmer, but unfortunately, I still don't have any of those. Um, but his pants have a zip in the bottom, they're tramping pants, and the good thing is, he doesn't want to use them as tramping pants, so I can decide whether or not I'm going to actually cut out the zip I'll make a short zip it's only going to be about that long and that just looks stupid so I think I'll unpack that then I had two school skirts school skirts uh, to him so that was from a friend of ours that's actually I think I've mentioned James friend of Samuel's um no not James's skirts but his sister's he's got he's they're twins as well. Only they don't have an older sibling. It's just the two of them. Um, someone knew where to start and finish, whereas I didn't start there. I finished there, though. And what else did I do? Oh, and then uh, Amy came picked up the curtains. What else? Did I do? There's something. Oh, yes. I got called out. Um, when did I do, I did my make nine after I'd been called out, I think, from Lynn. <sighs> so Lynn could hear a hissing noise. I've told you guys about Lynn before. Um, she wanted the gloves, the um, oven gloves. Made her the hat with the fishing on it. Anyway, so she, want, uh, she could hear a hissing noise. Well, her flatmate could hear a hissing noise and finally got Lynn to listen to it and so she called me maybe Chris Mr Christopher was home but alas he was at work earning the money so I could spend it anyway so let's not tell him that and so I raced around there but I was on the phone to Mr Christopher when I was racing and I said look she can hear a hissy noise she's turned the gas off because it's not gas gas doesn't hiss and I said, okay, I said, she said she couldn't smell gas and she thought, oh, well, you, you probably can't smell the gas. And I said, no, no, they put an agent in it. Gas doesn't actually smell. They put something in the gas so you can smell it. So things don't happen. Oh, too bad. Okay. So, um, so I bopped around there and I was dressed up. Well, not dressed up. I was dressed for work. And you would have seen what I was wearing because I wore it in my um, little... Oh, and somebody will ask me, and I probably didn't say it. I was wearing a, um, yesterday I was wearing my Easy Buy top, one of the bright pink ones, and I had my jeans with the rips over them, my, my um, tan coloured ones. And um, she wouldn't let me get under there, and I said, shh, 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 and um, crawled sort of semi. And I got to take my shoes off because I thought I'm going to scratch them on the on the driveway. I said, take my shoes off. So she flipped my shoes off and I'm under there and I've got the video camera and um, and I can see the spraying of the water. And I sent it to Mr. Christopher and he said, turn the water off. Um, the Toby is, you guys in England call it something else. Because when, because Lynn is actually from Guernsey and I don't know where Libby's from, but both English. And Libby said this other term and I said, and Lynn goes, it's the Toby. And I went, oh, okay. So we found the Toby. I raced back to under the house and 
waited for it to you know when something's in a hose it will take a while for the for it to stop before it gets to the point where it's no longer running so i went more 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 and they said you can't turn it off anymore so um and i said yep it's dying it's dying it's perfect so um then i had a cheeky cheeky gin and um mr christopher went there after work to see what he could do to fix it so he is possibly there now it should don't know where he is because he usually knocks off at 12 o'clock on a friday but um he's working with someone new today and he just told me that yep that's it so anyway um so race over to her that's when i came back gave amy her curtains had we jessica sized up for her skirt which leads me to friday 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 i <laughs> Because I was doing my make nines for ne for this year, for next year, for this year, I was hunting for a particular pattern, a, a coat pattern. I don't know why I didn't go into my patterns. But anyway, I was looking for it. And um, I made a mess. And I showed you guys my mess. And I made a mess. So today has been tidying up the mess, sorting out where I'm going with my make nines. Um, I found a whole heap of other patterns of stuff that I would also like to make. And um, I'm just swiping away Queenie's text. Now, Christopher's just sent me a video. Um, and we're done. And yeah, so then I sort of text mum, or mum texts me to see how my day is going. I text her and said, I'm about to pop out and go and pick up some patterns at Petoni. Did she want to come and get a different change of scenery from her house? To which she said yes, and to which I received, oh, when I went there, all of these. So we're still trying to think of a good productive way for me to store them. And I have decided that I like the 160 GSM patterns because they do hold themselves better. Mind you, the way I'm treating them at the moment or how they are, is they're going to get damaged and I do not want to reprint them. She asked me about um, the lady there. Um, she said, yeah, do you cut out? I said, no, no, I don't. I trace from this. Um, I trace from it because I... I fluctuate so much, so a lot. I think I can think about cake and put on two kilos. Imagine if, if I could smell it. They would just put on 10 kilos. So she was like, oh, yeah, yeah. I said, I know in England it's way cheaper to get the stuff printed off. I said, but I'm not in England and um, I'm here. So there's no way that I can afford to continuously reprint because I've decided to be lazy and not try cut trace it out so in amongst this i've got my cardi that i would like to make i'm trying to think of where my list is the cardi i want to make i've also got the cardi i want to make oh no that's over there that's over there did i have another pattern emporium i'm making But it's in here anyway, so I'm very, very, very super excited because, you know, I'm doing doing this, 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 this fabric with the Cardi. I think it's me. Don't you think it's me? It's my blue. It's my blue. Got my pads. What else did I say? Note pads. Um, hang on. Hydrate. Um, I helped a lady today on facebook she's in a sewing group and she had a problem another lady had put it on put the post on and she had a problem with her foot which didn't match either one of my feet because my loop last loops are right above the needle to fall down the shaft and hers came from the side it was weird so um and then somebody asked me a question about um because i showed them my walking foot and they come back to me and said mine's doing this and i just messenger her i actually got off the group um, facebook page and jumped into messenger and she was in amsterdam and i then also know that karina has a walking foot that she does her handbags with and i sort of said oh how far are you <laughs> god i'm bad how far are you from um Amsterdam. She was like, like two and a half hour flight. I said, okay, cool. I said, are you on this group? And I chucked her name in it. And um, then 
I asked her what machine she had, and the lady actually had the same machine. And yeah, so I've got, so it was me, Karina, and this other lady having chat, 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 chat in regards to fixing her issue that she was having with her sewing machine. So I felt productive doing that. If not, 100% answering the questions, which was exactly um, what Karina said. So I felt a little bit intelligent, not fully, but a little bit. And because her thread was shredding, and sometimes with the eye of the needle is actually too small, it, sh sh it will shred the thread. So then I had that, then I went and got mum, we went out to Petoni, and then mum said that, oh, that she was look, thinking about going back to the place where we bought the slippers from, there's a um, place called Global Foot Care, and it's down Fakatiki Street, and um, don't ask me to say that slowly, starts with a W, Fakatiki Street, okay, so, um, and down the end there is a, like a little industrial area and there's a little shoe outlet shop there and I have a problems with because I've got a concrete floor and this concrete floor is covered with a um lovely tac tac um I always call it tac tac the boards that bang 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 into place should have seen Chris when he was doing it god it was loud anyway so um my feet often hurt you know with the weight on top of the poor little things you know they're gonna hold my butt off the ground my feet at the end of the day are crying so we bought i bought some of these now they look like crocs they are not crocs and they are like walking on clouds clouds i tell you Clowns and they got a current current sale on full price, full price um, shoes. Buy one get one half price. So I bought some for Mr. Christopher because I'm the best good friend in the world. Yeah. So I bought him some of these shoes. Now he's got to try them on. He's got a size 11 boot. He wears 11 boots, but don't forget, and you're in a boot that's still capped. You kind of don't want your foot hard up against it. Also, he has thick socks on. So I got him a size 10. So I'll get him to try them on today. And if they do not fit and I need to go a size bigger, I will do so. I also bought some other shoes. Now, I don't have sandals. I don't wear jandals. Sam, I am. So these are jandals. Thongs flip-flops other stuff people call it but i've put them on since i've been home um and i just i, I guess i wore them when i dropped sammy off but yeah they are great when i was pregnant with the 20s i think when i was pregnant with sam uh, Sandra as well maybe i bought crocs Totes amazeballs, you know, just taking that cushioning. So at night, I quite often sit there with moisturiser and just rub, um, rub it on my feet. So anyway, I spent a touch of money because this wasn't the only shoes I bought. So I do, I do, I do need some um, some sandals, uh, uh, sandals, something open to fit because my little feet go i'm hot let me out let me out so i don't like that i am just looking for what we got gifted mum and i we got gifted this and this is special cream mousse for very dry skin i can actually see mr christopher stealing this off me suitable for diabetic foot care oh that's pretty good I'm not diabetic, but it's pretty. And it foams up. Look at that, it foams up. So, um, mother and I got some of that. Lots oh, of pair of glasses in my bag that are mine. No wonder I can't find things. So, there was a little bit of money spent there, not because I'm not spending, as mum said, oh, you can't spend on fabric, so you're spending on shoes. I said, no, actually, it comes out of a totally different bank account. So, but anyway. And I still haven't bought fabric. Oh, I did. I bought, I told you guys yesterday, I bought some fabric. That's the other thing I did. I bought some fabric. 
on Wednesday for the apron for my lovely nail lady. I just need to get a embroidery embroiderer embroidery pattern made so I can pop it on there over overalls apron so yeah what else have I done this week I think that's about all I've done this week I have washed a lot of fabric with the squeak and amongst it all and I have washed the fabric that I want to make the little pretty dress the little sunflower dress out of um that the fabric I got for Abigail and if there's anything left over I get to have the rest it's usually the other way around so I've got that um, washed ready to go I've got my patterns I think ready to go still haven't found a coat in amongst me looking through all the patterns today no coat Can you hear my daughter? She's playing guitar. She's right there. Anyway, so I'm actually trying to talk her into making a jingle for me so that I can um, have a definitely non um, copyrighted song as my jingly thing. What else is here, guys? I don't know if there's. Any oh! 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 Oh, yes, there is. So, excuse my mess here on my little challenge. I have, excuse my bottom. Oh, I have a new bouquet of flowers I received this week. Um, Margaret has been hunting for pink flowers for my studio. So, um, and... I want to remind you what the company is. Let me put my glasses on so I can read it. It's got like little, um, what are those? Gum nut, the gum nut fairy. Remember the gum nut fairies? I think they're probably still high and mighty in, in Australia still. Okay, and the company these flowers come from is Floral Image. Here we go. You can't pull them out. Floral Image. And my lovely friend, Margaret, who I will link below if you're from um, the area, um, dropped them in to me this week. And, I'll, and you know the other thing I love is I love these. It's a shame they don't have pink ones of these, but I love these flowers. And the roses and oh, blooms. The blooming. So, and, and I do love these leaves too, these, oh, these big leaves here and speaking of leaves and plants i have two tomatoes that are green on my tomato plant tomato plant this one's very push okay so that is me i think for the week oops let's turn that around that's perfect right um i do however have um a couple more people i would like to thank very much for um adding to my lovely um ko-fi donation love love donation i'm calling it because um i won't say coffee because mr christopher makes my coffees and i don't buy coffees because he makes them um i have i don't have it in front of me that's the worst thing i was going to write it down but i didn't stand by cooler Oh, shit, I've done that now. Twice. Oh, why am I so silly? Okay. Now, there are some little secret names coming in that I don't, um, that I don't get to see. Caro. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Um, Caro is, that's the only name I've been given. And I also have Adelwyn. Thank you very much. And Karina, that's your second one. Thank you, my darling. And I do have one more that's keeping life a secret. 
so I will send you a wee thank you very much for that as well. Um, I don't know, you could keep it a secret, but apparently you can, which is adorable. Um, so I want to thank you guys because we're getting up there for me to find a really good system. Well, I'm not getting to find the real good system, but I'm getting the savings together to be able to buy the, um, I just want something that clips into the table and comes around on like a great big telescopy kind of poly thing. That makes sense to you, doesn't it? Because please say yes, because yeah, it makes a nice sense to me. Mm -mm. I know, I know, I know. Um, Hmm. I think it doesn't even come up. Anyway, I'd like to shout out a big thank you to all the lovely people that have dropped some um, donations into my Ko-Fi account. It is growing steadily upward. Love it when it grows upward. But it is. And... Um, I wouldn't be here without you all. So thank you all for being here and thanking me for being here for you. Made sense to me. Okay, guys, I'd like you to stay well, stay warm, stay dry. I would like you to keep cool, keep on sewing, even if it's just tidying your sewing room. Hydrate. Um, um, I believe... Ruan has a two litre bottle. I also have a two litre bottle. It's just upstairs somewhere. This one's about a litre. This is a... I'm still going through this one. It's a little bit left, but this one, Queenie bought this for me and it keeps stuff so cool. Like I put ice in it and it stays. I didn't put ice in this and I filled it up this morning out of my cold tap out the back, the filtered cold tap out the back goes through the fridge, makes it nice and icy, and it's still cool. I like cool water. And apart from that, I want you guys to hydrate, 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 and um, no regrets. Okay, what it is, if you're going to regret it, don't do it. My dad always said, regret the things you don't do, not the things you do do. Do do. <laughs> Something came up the other night, and I giggled with doo-doo. Such a child. Okay, guys, thanks heaps for watching, and um, I'll see you next time. Bye. Good afternoon. I'm Stacy, and this is my studio, and today I'm taking a load off. I'm sitting on my chair lounge. Now, I've had a bit of a quiet day. I've also had this pain in my head that has eaten behind my eye, so... Um, I had a Google, you know, Dr. Google, so I Googled it, and it could be that my neck is out, which, in all honesty, wouldn't be unusual for me, but um, I do feel very heavy behind my eyeball, so I don't want to drone on, but yes, yeah, so today I went out, I got out of the house, and I took mum for a drive, get her out of her house. And we went and packed this up. Do you know what that is? That is 16 sheets of A0 paper cardstock. Um, not, it's not cardstock. It's 160 GSM. This is my patterns. Okay, so I went and picked that up today. Last, was it last Friday? It must have been last Friday. Feels like forever ago. Um, when Jackie came down, we went over to um, collect it and nobody was home. The cupboard was bare. Mabel. Kst. Mabel. Mabel. Mabel Gertrude. Enough. Just because she can lick herself doesn't mean she should. Not in front of me. I'm not jealous much, but anyway, so this is 16 pages of awesome from Apex. 
I think I met the owner lady. I don't know who it was, but she said she doesn't usually work there full time and that the boys tend to use the 3D printer when she's not around. So I'm just assuming, assuming that she could be right up there in the thing. Oh, um, also, I bought all those before my ban on fabric. Now, I have got my dress on that I did a mock-up for a client to get the style of dress she wanted. Um, I love it when you mock up something and they change it halfway through. So basically, it's just a stretch fabric and it goes down to just on my calf. It's got the little relaxed fit here. It's got a really nice stretch to it. But when I did the mock-up, I only had a little bit of this fabric. And so I found, I don't know, the most matchiest, matchiest. I don't know how I match that rib. I mean, who has that rib, right? Apparently, I have that rib that matches this. So I made my sleeves that way. So, um, and I had somebody say to me when they were trying to clear out my closet, because people like to do that to me. They, If you haven't worn it, get rid of it. Hmm. Okay. So anyway... Um, I was told if I don't wear it, I am to get rid of it or sell it or something. And so I put it on and wore it that day, right in front of them. Wearing it, not getting rid of it. But um, I was talking to you guys um, earlier this week in regards to um, why I like Phoenix. And as you can see here, where my bust is here, okay, and then all this fabric. And I look... Busty. I am busty. Don't get me wrong. I know I'm busty. But you watch this. If I do that, just how that thins out that whole passage of fabric, you know? Just wanted to show you guys that. I have had Panadol, but it feels very... Um... Anyway, so... Whenever I go to this printer, they usually have pads on the side of the um, of the counter. And today they had lots of pads. And I said, may I please have a few of these? And she said, oh, if I'm there, just take them. She said, take as many as you want. And she said, you don't need to ask. So I asked because I was brought up to be polite and asking, you know, I know that it's up there for grabs and I know that people take them, but I still like to ask. So I've got, and these are just offcuts. This is actually really shiny. Um, so I've got some of these pads. That's that size. Oh, did I show you the size? I'll just show you. That's that size. With my head head. And then, um, Mr. Christopher's forgot. Got a spare piece of paper. Usually when I print out my patterns and I stick them together and... I usually stuff up something, you know, do back and front. <laughs> Hands up if you've done that before. You print it both front and back and then you get it and you go, oh, shit. Done that before. Anyway, um, so that's the other size, side. This one's a, more of a writing on pad. So that's the difference. So I've got a couple of those. That's what I started with, with these cute little ones. Um, good for sketching up something quickly if you've got something in your mind, you know. Then I've got these little jotters. Not even, like, they're not even the same size. So they literally cut off something else and stuck together. And, and then I've got this size, which is about, well, it looks like it's got lines in it. I'll stand by a corner. Oh, it has the faintest of lines in it. Oh, that's pretty cool, huh? I said, Mark, get a couple of these. And she picked up the pile and she, like, pushed the... I think there's four. I was going to give Mum one, but she hopped out of the car before I remembered, so my brain didn't remember to tell her to um, grab one. But she'll watch, watch this and then she'll say, save one for me. But I think that is great, just, like, writing down for the kids to write down what they want in the groceries. They shouldn't. They shouldn't write down what they want. They should get what they're given. Get what they're given. That's what I say. So, um, so that's what I've picked up today. Now, today, <laughs> hi, my name's Stacy, and this is my studio. What I'm actually doing is my hashtag Friday sews. Right. So, don't touch my shoes. So, 
um, hashtag Friday so started by Jen from Today in Jen's Sewing Room and she has bought an, a massive community of um, of great artists together and um, and and it's got a community outside of that you know that don't vlog so a great community of artists that vlog and those that follow the vloggers um, and while we have this, we talk about what we've sewn this week and what we're possibly going to sew next week and um, a little bit about life. So I've inadvertently, <laughs> accidentally, told you my little bit about life <laughs> right at the beginning. Um, it is also, um, for those that have not met me before and this is the first time to, to my channel, welcome. I hope you enjoy enough to buckle up, sit down and um, come on this adventure with me. I've been vlogging now for uh, five months yesterday. And for those that know and love me, welcome back. It is fantastic to have you guys back on the um, back of my studio. So I'm today sitting on my Shea Lounge. Um, I'm just going to sit back a little bit, strike a pose and all that sort of stuff. So what have I been doing this week? This week I had to have eight curtains made. Yes, eight curtains made. But and I also told her I had a, had a uh, YouTube channel, so um, she's Amy's very well probably maybe found me and is watching this. Eight curtains. So I started that on Monday. Unfortunately, I actually needed to use my dining room table, which is. Um, I want to say 1.2 wide, 3 metres long. And although the fabric was 1.5, I flipped it another way, then pinned it down roughly because I was working with curtains that um, weren't base, weren't a standard size. Well, sorry, they were, they had been washed and um, the curtains were quite old and they sort of buckled and all that sort of stuff fell apart a little bit. So I was very conscious of using too much fabric and very conscious of not having a big enough hem when I made the made the curtains. Poor Amy knew exactly that I was going through um, a torturous period of trying to make sure that they all sort of measured up right. Um, also it came with these little special bobbles. Um, you might see them because I actually have shown them on a previous vlog and um, so Monday ended up with me cut, laying it out, cutting it out. Now, we spent the weekend um, tidying up the dining room and the lounge and um, getting stuff from Moores and Wilsons. Anyone in New Zealand knows it's called Moore Wilsons, but my friend says it's Moores and Wilsons because she just does that, and we just took it on. So she knows it's actually Moores and Moore Wilsons, but we won't let her change it because we love the way she says it. So we have... Um, so we spent time, and I knew that I needed the dining room table, and the dining room table was covered with, let's just dump that here for today. Let's just dump that here, and next minute, we've got a 3 by one2 covered with crap, to be polite. And that's as it's polite as I can be about that. So I had the table clear, marked it all up. Then I brought it to the studio, and... No, I didn't. I cut it out on the table upstairs as well. So I had to think. So I used, um, obviously, the grain line to the side, which I don't actually know if they do that with um, with thermal backed curtains, if they actually stick to a grain line. There was some wonky stages of life going on. And I made my own T, um, T intersections to, to lay it straight and flat and cut it across and made them all, brought them down here. One, one I stuffed up, I would have had... I, I just didn't want to do it. I just didn't want to make everything else perfect and this one. And we still had, I still had fabric on the bolt. So, and she's got the cutoff that I accidentally did, which she needs to cover the kitchen window anyway, which she's going to mock up real quick with dot, 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 dot of Velcro. And then just, I think somebody actually said they did their camper van like that. So I was chuckling away to myself, knowing full well that one of you lovelies out there has actually done that with your camper van, which I think was a very speedy and wonderful process. So, um, and then I met her husband. Now, her husband works at um, this company that I purchased my dryer from. Now, the guys at the place where I purchased my dryer from are just lovely. Just, I've never had, I've only dealt with one thing. I've only bought one thing from them, and that was a dryer. 
and my mum has bought quite a few things um, and since dad's pass has bought a freezer so and she was the one who suggested to me that I actually do the whole um, buy, buy my dryer through them so well, this gentleman works for this company and I know you guys well if you're new you don't know but excuse me my dryer contacted a squeakiness contacted Oh, there's a word that my brain is so not thinking. My little my pain's gone to my second eye now. Um, so it got the squeak, so <coughs> which annoyed the bajingas out of Lily. She lives downstairs, which was right next to um, her bedroom's right next to our laundry, uh, next to the laundry. And she um, it just stood ahead, and and that was. So the March, we bought it in the December, um, we got it on, we got it for Boxing Day sales, alright, so this is December and then by March we have a brand new one, and that starts squeaking, eventually, but it started squeaking, so I rang up and this gentleman, he said, let's do third time a charm. I said, let's do third time a charm. He knows that I use the washing machine a lot, especially with my fabrics to make sure that pressure ends, blah, blah, blah. So he goes, um, I'm up there and I, and she said, oh, no, he works at, and I said, oh, right. And then I mentioned something and he goes, oh, no. He said, I, I actually spoke to you. Yep, yep, yep. Um, bring it in. I bring in because I've recorded it. Chris recorded it, and um, I've also got the documentation for when they delivered it. So we got it in December. It started squeaking, I think, within the first three weeks. Benefit of the doubt. It's just getting comfortable in its new surroundings. No, 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 and no, no. The the noise is hideous. So i should attach it in here so you guys can hear the squeaking noise so i'm never going to use this particular brand again and uh, which is a pity because it's a very well known very um, reputable brand but i do think i'm going to coax mr christopher and getting in the same brand as as um, amy my client has um i just don't remember the name of the brand i keep forgetting it even driving with mum in the car I said there's three brands. I said I, don't, I can't remember the name of it. There's like Fisher and Paykel. There is Bosch, and there's this particular other brand. And she said, I said yes. She said, well, that's what my washing machine is. And she said, I love my washing machine. So I said, well, that is what I think I'm going to do with the dryer. So there, I've just thrown in a bit of what I've sewn this week and a bit of life all into me. So it was quite funny. So what else have I sewn? So I've done eight curtains six tie backs for the curtains so this is all matching exactly what she'd given me with um what she'd taken out um and then i also on tuesday i went to the company that i normally do the hemming with and i measured up my peoples and bought the hem back and i at lunchtime by lunchtime the next day it was about half past 11 i drove in and dropped the pants off and there were 14 pairs of pants that is actually what I did the tutorial for on the Tuesday. I did one one um, person, so each pair had two pairs. And so I did that as my sample. Um, example, tutorial. Somebody asked me to make sure when I put, um, have a, have a, have a playlist, a playlist for what I do. And I'd already done that part of it, but Total Logic actually put what I did the tutorial on. Um, only silly people wouldn't write that. <laughs> so I have gone through and I have edited that and said I have done as hemming. So that you know if you are scouting down looking for something that I have probably um, or possibly done a tutorial on, you can see it. Okay, I haven't done anything on the Vlogmases, so all my Vlogmases stand as, um, but that particular tutorial is sitting there. Any questions? I've had one question um, posed to me in regards to how and why I did it and measured it that way. Um, you can either find my response to that question or ask me. I have no problems um, 
every pant is with me is done on a basis of what the pant is how it falls what the drape is and what its style it's meant to be okay um so yeah just let me know so i've done yeah 14 pairs of pants and i've done eight curtains and six tie backs the tie backs were a real pain in the pitter apparently is the term it was a real pitter because um you know when you fold you put your right sides together and you go around make the thing a tube and you pull it through and you're sorry yeah <laughs> blackout curtains not blackout curtains sorry thermal back curtains don't like going through the feet and the foot in the dog so i went and ironed the seam allowance in on all of it joined it together with the seam allowance tucked in and then went around it that's the better did it it's perfect exactly what i needed i would have liked to have stuck rivets in it um i lie i would have liked to have stuck um grommets in it but i don't know this scenario so i did so on velcro for them to join it which i will bring it up with amy and say hey look because they're still doing it up they haven't done it up so they um but they needed curtains they really did need to change the curtains because so you're going to need to wash them for a start and when the poor bugger found out that they did not be washed yep she had to really quickly change it up so they're going for a holiday which is fantastic beautiful weather at the minute for it it was a little bit humid today but um yeah what else have i done so that was that was tuesday taken care of um wednesday i don't know what i was doing wednesday what i'm going to do now though is i'm going to go um samuel is due to go to work and i suggested to him that he drive to work so i've got the car with the windows open and parked a little bit in the shade so we can get him to work in a cooler vehicle than what it was sitting in the sun so i'll come back and finish this don't forget where i'm up to you might need to remind me wednesday or as christopher says wednesday <laughs>